Picture me folding. What? Never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the gap. No. Boy. If I wouldn't disconnect, baby. Yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H. Man, it's be the five. MP in the cut. What? Yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but connect some could, baby, some hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab NPY used to be. Uh-huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, till I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Nice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. Hey, I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. Hey girl, what's up guys, good morning, hey y'all, hey, so me and the babes is up, it is 6.42 a.m. in a Saturday, so we are up, I'm about to, y'all gonna be like, girl, what? Listen, it's early, it's Saturday, it's, it's early, it's Saturday. Um, first, I'm gonna wash these seven bottles out real quick, don't look at my hair. Okay, so I just went and brushed my hair a little bit. But, um, yeah. So, I know it's massively early. To some people, it's probably too early. Some people are like, girl, take your ass and lay back down. But how can I if the baby is not woke? So, first of all, before I even get into what I'm about to start cooking, because this is going to be for dinner. Hey, Tinky. Hey. Say good morning. Good morning. Tomorrow, you got to go get your hair cut. Okay. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, yes. I'm glad he be remembering stuff because I'll forget sometimes. But girl, look, first of all, oh, here goes bottle. I gotta say thank you to the person who purchased this baby monitor for Nevea, Princess Potato. And I know it's been a minute since we had the baby shower, and I did send my thank yous out virtually, like electronically rather, through the Amazon app. And through cards, but and also on the show when we had the live. But girl, let me tell you, um, and I'm that baby monitor is the best thing ever, girl. Okay, do you hear the music it's playing? If she starts crying, I could press this button upstairs and she'll hear music through the speaker. Like there's four different sounds that you can choose in like six different volume levels, girl. And I could press this other button and talk to her. So I Love that baby monitor by VTech. It's amazing. It has a screen, so you don't have to hook it up to your phone. And the ones that you hook up to your phone is nice, too, because those ones, you can actually see them, I think, when you're not at home. I mean, but you could always buy one of those. But th- this one, oh, my God, I love it. And it wasn't even that expensive. And the cool thing about it is you can, like I said, you can start the music so that way they can stop crying. And that music really does work. It'll put her right to sleep when she doesn't want to go to bed. Um, it'll put my ass to sleep. I can hear the music, too, on my end. Or I could just mute, mute it and not hear the music. But also, what's so cool about it is, say I'm downstairs and I just want her to take a nap and she won't, I could go upstairs, turn the music on, and it'll play. And then I could turn the the, the whole monitor off upstairs, or like un- turn it off, power it off. And girl, it is that. then the music will play all day on the thing until you stop it. If you do it like that. If you don't do it like that, like you just leave the monitor on upstairs, it'll play for like, I think it plays for like 30 minutes, the music, and then it'll cut off. But if you turn the whole entire monitor off and leave her little camera part on, the music will not stop playing. Like it'll just keep playing through the little camera in her room part. Until you turn it off, like all day. Look, we got the kiddos playing together early, early. What y'all doing? Say hey, guys. I'm about to. Okay, so I know it's almost seven o'clock. It's six fifty-one. I'm about to season up my pork chops. Pork chops. Yeah, and and cook them. 
I'm about to cook dinner right now, okay? Really, for later. Put it in the oven and hide it from everybody. They're going to be like, what's that smell? Why we smell board jobs? And I'm going to hide it in the oven. Girl, you know what I've been thinking, you guys? And I know y'all going to be like, girl, you think too much sometimes. Because I, I, might, I might just do think a lot. I just, I do. Because sometimes, you know, when you look at your own videos, when you're editing your videos, don't mind me. I'm just checking areas where my dog might have went to be sneaky because once in a while she likes to be sneaky. But, okay, so, oh, this plant is growing. Look, this plant is growing so nicely. Do you see that plant? Look at that plant. It is growing so nice. So nice. I bought this plant for, I believe it was either 12 or 10 bucks or 20 from Kroger's grocery store. Now, I've had a couple of plants from there that did not last at all, but I don't like these little edges. And I'm trying to figure out if anybody's out there that knows how to do plants, y'all are watching. You know, you my subscribers, my followers, my divas. Y'all my divas. And y'all know about plants. Can you please tell me how to, what, what is this from these spots? And what can I do to get rid of it? I know I don't need to cut the whole leaf off, but I would like to see, I would like to know what I could do to fix that. And then my other set of these plants. These are my Hold other on. set of plants. I've had these for a couple of years and they've actually were... They tried to die on me at one time um, because I overwatered them, and I realized that, and they and I fixed that. I, I brought them back to life, but I also repotted these because they were tiny, tiny plants, and they grew so big. Now, this one here is going to be the next one that I have to repot. I've had this for a year and some months. I got it on my birthday last year from one of my friend Tina's. I have a lot of friends named Tina's, okay? I have a lot of friends named Tina, and she gave me this when it was a baby, so now it is... Damn, this thing grew. Shit. Once I put some water in it, watch her leaves perk right up. But I love them. These three right here that all look alike, they are from Ikea. And this one is also the same plant, but a different version. I guess, you know, there's so many. So, yeah. I want to know, how can I make these bigger? I've repotted them with good soil. Good good soil. When I say good soil, because I learned my lesson. Let me tell y'all people, fam. Don't ever buy no soil from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cents only store. Be very careful because you can get um, gnats and I got gnats. After I repotted those three, I got really bad gnats because of the soil and I had to take them out and redo them over after like uh, two weeks. The gnat issue was so bad. I had tried everything to get rid of those gnats and after a while I was like, you know what? Let me just change the soil. I'm going to get gnat soil that doesn't attract gnats and it works. It works. I want to go and get like a consultation for hair growth. I'm not sure you guys. It looks really, really thin from the sides right there. It just looks really, really thin. So anyway, I was wanting to get this thing done to where I could um see if my hair would grow back in that area. You know, so this is it on the left side. This is the left side. And see, it's not that bad. Like... It looks really bad in this one video, but anyway, so I'm I'm not sure if you guys know why I'm losing my hair, okay? Because some people be like, oh, you need to start wearing them wigs. It, it, no, it's not the wigs, honey. If y'all see me, I vlog all the time. I never have on a wig, okay? So it's not the wigs. I don't do wigs. I don't wear wigs every day. I haven't worn wigs every day since my son passed away three years ago. I've been stopped wearing wigs. It's hot. And it isn't even because he passed away, but that's when I stopped wearing them every day, like around that time frame. I stopped wearing them every day way before he passed. But I had to stop wearing them every day because, remember, I got a hysterectomy, a full hysterectomy surgery. But let me tell you, when I got the surgery, it was so bad. The hot flashes, the hot flashes were so bad in the beginning after I got that surgery um, that I couldn't wear wigs anymore. And my hair was already falling out before that. Now, maybe it might have contributed to it. I don't know. Hormonal changes. I have a Bain disease. So... That is that contributes to my hair loss. It seemed like once I started getting uh, like the shots in my veins to, to collapse some of my veins so that the blood flow wouldn't be all over, it seemed like it just started go worsening on one side. This side wasn't bad at all. And then once I started going to treatment and, you know, allowing them to collapse my veins, you, your blood flow is supposed to be like a one way street. So it's supposed to go one direction. But unfortunately, mine doesn't do that. That's why I have like the really bad varicose veins. The pain in my leg, the blood clots that I get, I have um, just really bad 
um, pain a lot in my legs. It seemed like once I started going to get shots, because I had to go once a week to get shots to collapse my veins, so that way I, my blood flow could go the right direction, it just started making it worse on this side, and my hair just started falling out. But mainly all right here, but also like in the middle too. I don't have like ball patches, but it's just like sometimes like a lot of hair comes out. I just feel like maybe if I go get like one of those um, hair treatments where they help you grow your hair back, maybe that'll work for me. I don't know. I don't want to do something that doesn't work for me because of something else that is going to mess it up for me. Girl, I just, I'm just tired of my edges looking like this. And like, there's so many tricks and hats you could do to conceal it, but I don't be wanting to put all that stuff on my hair, like all that gel and glue just to do all of that for one little area. That's going to make it worse. That's going to make it worse. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What do y'all think? Like, is, is, is it called a hair? It's not called a hair transplant, but it's something like that. I look crazy in the morning. You know, what? I just I, I'll be honest. I'm I'm thankful that I wake up every day. I thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. So, like, I'm definitely thankful that I wake up every day. Um, because it's just hair. You could throw on a wig. You could go and rock that shit as a ball deep if you want. But sometimes, you know, it does really bother me because I could look back at my other pictures and I could see what I used to look like with all my hair. So it does bother me a lot. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe that's sometimes why I just be feeling like I don't really care. Look at me. I don't want to start crying. I'm sorry I started crying. I just think about it every day and I try not to let it bother me. Um, some people probably think like, oh, you let the wigs girl or weeds i've never had believe it or not i've never had a weed in my life i've never had a weed like a sewing i've never had a sewing i've never had a sewing <sighs> well i'm still a good person <laughs> oh my god first of all you guys let me tell you why am i constantly watching this stupid ass show um love now i want to love after lockup i don't know is this, this show fake it's crazy if it ain't fake it's ridiculous So I went ahead and put them on the show for the babes. She watching Netflix, uh, Chip and Potato, Hugs and Kisses. Chip and Potato, I'm like, Hugs and Kisses, Chip and Potato. So she watching that. Tati will be here probably like 10, 10, 15, 10, 30. She get up at 9, 30. I'm so proud of my daughter. She did an amazing job to her recovery or sobriety. And she's got herself a job. She got her car back on the road, girl. She is doing amazing, you know. All with faith, love, and support. So, yes, you guys, I'm so proud of her. I love her so much. I love her so much, and I'm so happy for her. <sighs> this little this little girl here is crazy over her mama, okay? And I don't know if it's because of the love, the homemade meals, because Tati is always in this kitchen um, using that baby blender that she got, making her all kind of fresh, organic, homemade baby food. So she got a good mom. Tati's a good mom. She's a really good mom. You know, we all sometimes just have a little setback, but, you know, she did so good. And I'm so proud of her. But like, like I'm saying, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this pork chops now. So that way I could just get out of the way. But I will be hiding it in the oven, okay? Because if I don't, people are going to smell it. And they're going to be like, oh, it's time to eat. Can we eat that now? Well, I'll just eat that now. And I'll eat something later for dinner. No, it's for dinner, okay? It's for yeah. dinner. So it's right now, while the grease is getting hot, I'm going to fix my coffee. I had bought this a couple of days ago. This is two coffees added together. Um, I had a little bit left. So they taste much better than they after but just to sweeten it up i'm gonna put one of these creams in it the dunkin donuts okay dunkin donuts extra extra real cream and sugar coffee creamer um i got these yesterday okay i've never seen these before i got these yesterday let me tell y'all what i got them from so i live in avondale I live in garden lakes it's a I don't know what they call it, a subdivision. It's nothing but homes, but it's called Garden Lakes. Out of Garden Lakes, on the property of Garden Lakes, it's huge. It's, it's a few miles long. It's huge. But on the property of Garden Lakes is the school where my kids go um, and my grandkids go, excuse me, which is the elementary. And directly on the opposite side of the street in Garden Lakes is the high school. Also, where mom's go, also on the property is a church. And I do believe it's a Mormon church. I do believe, okay? It's a nice church. But once a month, ever since COVID, they started giving out, um, St. Mary's will pull up in their big food truck and they would, you know, they would give out food. once Only once a month, they'd give out these big boxes of food. And so if you were a resident here in Garden Lakes or if you lived in the like surrounding areas, they would, you know, depends on your zip code. But anybody could get the food. It doesn't go by your income. Anybody could get the food. 
girl they was not only just giving out food they give out toilet paper paper towels diapers all kind of stuff i got some really nice grill utensils from them so i go once a month because they put up this big old sign i went yesterday and got some these they, they gave me these um they give you just they just give you a big old box and you tell them how many people's in your household they give you a big old box of stuff and sometimes it's good sometimes it's not but girl i got nice bags of fruit yesterday so i got two boxes of these actually two boxes of these i got some fruit these is all plums. These are all plums in this bag, okay? They gave me a, nothing but a bag of plums, okay? A huge bag of apples um, that she's going to make into the baby's foods. Some sweet potatoes that she's going to also use to make the baby's food. Some Jimmy Dean sausages, two packs of Jimmy Dean sausages. And two packs of these, so I got two of these, uh, shredded cheese. So I got two bags of shredded pepper jack. Um, what else did I get? They gave a few of these. Um, they gave some white potatoes, toilet paper. I can't remember what else it was, but I was going to make me some sausage and eggs for breakfast this morning. And Tiki loves sausage, so I'm going to just put these in the air fryer real quick. So let's, let's do that. While the grease is popping over there, getting hot, we're going to... Girl, I got to do... First, before... I, you know what? I'm just talking to y'all and messing my day up. First, I got to get the flour going. Hold on, guys.
blushing The ass we concussion Oh, you bitch by touching been a very long morning okay so i've got a lot of stuff done um i got some of the pork chops done okay it's now 9 29 girl i have washed dishes i have rearranged stuff in a living room kind of like like yeah threw some stuff out um did some laundry about to fold the clothes that's on the laundry rack gave the baby some snacks i'm um, about to make breakfast we'll finish making breakfast now i'm gonna make the eggs to it Mumsy's here in the house. Okay. You can put it in the sink right there under that running water because I'm going to um, clean that pan. Okay. 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 Breakfast. Who would like some breakfast? Breakfast. So we got some scrambled eggs and cheese, sausage, and egg McMuffin. Oh my God.
I'm hot, hot. I gotta take a shower once I get here. The baby fell asleep. I finished making pork chops, okay? Finished that, I'm making rice. It is now 10.30, okay? I've been up since 6.30. I'm about to put some aluminum foil over them and put them in the oven so nobody will eat them until dinner. I told my girl I was going to bring the car over after work. Okay, that was Nate texting me. All right, so I gotta go. I gotta finish folding laundry. Then I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna get ready for a effing video today, okay? Look guys, Tiki got a haircut. Haircut, Tiki got a haircut. We just came back from the haircut place, but look guys, it's another baby walker. So I am returning that old cheesy one and this one was delivered, yes! We about to open this one up, put it together. You gonna help? You gonna help put it together? What does that mean? Okay, my coffee is really black right now. It turned super black once the ice melted. I didn't put any cream in it yet, so okay, we're gonna we'll do that. In we're gonna hook this up. We're gonna hook this up. I already put the one thing in it, but we're about to hook it up with some of that free stuff. That's good. Oh, where's your costume at? I thought you was gonna help me put the walker together with your costume on. Yeah, you know. Okay, got me a superhero. All right, that's cool. Now who? <laughs> now who are you? Takashi. How you gonna be something you don't even know the name of it? Who are you? From Naruto. Did I say it right? Naruto. Oh, okay, Naruto. All right, well. Okay, Naruto. Okay, well, how about I call you Handyman for right now? How about I call you Handyman for right now? Okay, Naruto. Let's go, Kakashi. Let's let's put this walker together. Oh, uh, my name is. Uh, it's also for kids. Oh my God. Can we just we'll put start? This we'll start. He's he's doing an unboxing. Tinky is unboxing. Oh shoot. I'm a ninja. You just got to cut the tape. No, not like that. Be careful. Here, I'll do this part. Like, look, on the side. See? All right. I know. You need some help? Oh, and then another box, huh? Ooh. All right, what we got here? And this, I thought, is really... Are you all right there? Okay. <laughs> Fun, getting lost. You are like the biggest Amazon package ever I've ever gotten. Um, this one has eight wheels. And they will ride out on any terrain. When I say these wheels will ride out on any terrain, I'm talking about carpeting and all. This thing right here, I mean, it was good for the purpose, $40, but it wasn't riding on nobody's terrain. I had to, like, do some adjusting, like, move the bumpers for it to ride on the terrain. But we going to ride out in this one. All the wheels swivel. Ain't no fancy toys or gadgets on it. That's unfortunate. But it's compact. It gets around easy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was $50 more. So this damn thing is $93. And, you know, there are some of 76 Just a different name, but the same thing. So we're gonna, um, me and Tinky are gonna put this together. Hopefully, it ain't too hard. I, I'm gonna just mail you off to somebody. And you're gonna, yeah, where are you gonna go? Um, I will go to your mom's house. To grandma's house? Yeah. In that box? She's gonna be happy to see you. 
Oh, wow. This is, and then she, she's going to send me back to here. You think she's going to send you back? Yeah. I'm going to put, I'm going to put no return. Once open, can't return it. That's what I'm going to do. What? Where are you going to get the cops? No, I didn't say I'm going to get the cops. I said I'm going to just make sure that you can't return the package. Yeah. Parcel undeliverable as a return. Yeah. Right here. Okay. All right, here. Put this by the front door. I'll be waiting for you. Terry. Don't be over there jumping. What? She's in the bouncer. <laughs> Tato. Tato is messy. Oh, shoot. Tato, you got to put it together. Charge together? That's what it's looking like. Just pop it up. Oh. oh, wow. Yes. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> Great job, team. Yeah. Tiki ain't even helping. Hello, Black. What did you want to help with? I don't know. Something. We were supposed to put this together. Together. We were supposed to do this as a team. Look at that. Oh, I get that. This is compact and all, honey. I get that. But for 93 daggone dollars, this feel just as cheap as that. Well, oh, plastic is plastic. Nah, it like? don't feel like $93 plastic. What's $93 plastic? Thicker than like? this. And like this part is, I don't know, it doesn't feel like $93 plastic. I need it to feel like $93 plastic. Now, how do you adjust these? She wants you to have the Teslas of all oh, yeah, walkers. Yes. How do you get You got it. The Tesla of all walkers. Right now you're driving a, driving a Honda. This is starting to feel uh, not even like a Honda. She had the Ford Focus. So that she upgraded to the Honda. This is feeling like a Ford Focus. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. Not going to throw Let it. Those two shades. Okay. You ready to try this out? Hello? Tato. Tato, you ready to try this one out? Ready? Which one do you want to get in? Let's try it out. Look, she's like, yay! This is Grand Muffin's new car she got, and then there goes my car. Oh. <laughs> Woo! We're going to get in this one. Now, let's see. It said all terrain. Now, get going. No, sorry. No message yet. She's looking confused. What should she do? I know, right? She's like, wait, what? Cheeto? Yay! Let's see you go. Woo! Go, Tato. Go, Tato. Ooh, she's looking at me. Yeah. Want some churros? Let's go. Ah, oh, you're moving. Go ahead. Want some churros? Here, boo. Here. She might pretend like here. No, she has nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Come grab my hand. Nothing to offer. <laughs> Not myself. <laughs> Come grab my hand. She's going backwards. Like... Here, Tiki, move. Don't push her. Here. Hey. Here, I have something for you. She's going the opposite way. <laughs> I know. My love. Here. Come grab my hand. Come on. Come take my hand. It's safe. Come on. <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> She's like, yeah. She doesn't know. <laughs> Come on. It's safe. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> In the eyes of a muffin. <laughs> Look how she's like gliding across. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello there. Come on. It's safe. Too late. Just cut it out, please. No, I won't. You have sleepy to sue. Sleepy snoozy snipe. It's sleepy snoozy sleepy snooze. Sleepy snoozy snipe. That's stay. not the words. It's close. It's not. She likes that part. Mm -hmm. So what are you? what is your choice of car? You got the Tesla and the Ford Focus. <laughs> Remember, you don't you don't want to make payments for the rest of your life. So you take the Tesla, right? <laughs> Because with the Ford Focus, you're going to constantly have to get work done to it, which is making payments. She's bribing her with the pork chop. <laughs> oh, she's showing it off. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Tato. Come on. You want pork chop, right? Yeah. Come on. Uh, no? She doesn't eat pork. She's vegan. <laughs> Early morning. How you liking that new ride you got going on there? Got your toy up on there. You're doing pretty good, I think, huh? Yeah, hi. Somebody is getting around. Somebody is. This is actually a really nice um, 
walker, you guys. So if you're looking for a baby walker that's compact and easy to get around on, can get around on all terrain, like they say, like the rugs, the carpet, then this one is a really good choice. It's eight wheels. And as you can see, it's kind of got a nice distance from the floor which makes it a lot easier for the children to get around on. But the fact that it has eight wheels, that is also a plus. Um, so it makes it a lot easier for her to get around in. I do like it. There are, I think, three colors. Oh, Alexa, read me my notifications. She got One new on notification by. from Amazon Shopping. I found a deal for an item on your save for later list. Phone holder bed gooseneck mount lamical cell phone clamp clip for desk. It's $21.99 after $8 in savings. With delivery by today. To get the deal, just say, add to cart. Add to cart. Add to cart. Okay, I added it to your Amazon cart for review. To purchase, say, buy it now. No, thank you. No, thank you, Alexa. Alexa, no, thank you. Alexa, bye. Goodbye. So as I was saying about my own little personal review, it comes in black, pink, and I can't remember the other color because there's three colors. I want to say red, but I don't really think it's red. Um, and there's like three different brands, but they're all exactly the same damn walker. So this one was $93. This was the most expensive one out of three of them because there's a $79 one and there's an $89 one. And then there's this one, which is 93. The only reason why I got this one for 93 is because the $79 one would have taken like, um, I don't think it ships and sold from Amazon. So it would have taken like, um, I want to say like five days longer. However, this one was supposed to be delivered on Saturday and did not come until Sunday. So I don't know. I, I hate to be picky, but I'm going to need my money back. I'm going to need like my $10. I'm going to need my prime shipping fee, whatever. But any anyway, other than that, it's a really nice. Why you be taking my stuff? You got your own stuff. I gave you that. I gave you your own stuff. Yeah, there you go. There you go. My hair out today. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. This is just a braid out. She having a fit, you guys. I really don't like my hair out like this. It makes me feel like I have a bigger head. You want to come on? Because I was trying to help you lead the way. So come on. Let me show you. You got to follow behind me. It's a walker. I got it so you could follow me, not me pull you. Come on. Why are you acting like that? Ooh. That's why you only could go backwards. That's why you only know how to go backwards. That's why. That's why. You being mean to me because you only know how to go backwards. Hmm. Don't be being mean to Brand Muffin. Brand Muffin ain't do nothing to you. Look at that toy. It's strong on there. Look at that. Ow. You want to pull it up. Why are you acting like that? Why are you acting like that? Hey. Hello? 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 What is wrong with you? What is, you want to get in your swing? <laughs> okay. Look at that. Who's got Cheerios? Yeah. And the bowl sticks to the walker. It's one of those suction bowls. You just wet it on the bottom and it stick. And it seems like it has a pretty good grasp. And so does that toy. But I noticed with this toy, one of my divas bought it for her for um, her wish list. If you turn the bottom, it just gets tighter. So that's awesome. So I'll have to find another toy like that part. But I like that bowl. That was Tinky's old bowl. So it works. It serves it up. Oh, no. So we're about to go for a walk. Um, nobody really does like to look outside. So I figured I'd take her for a walk. This is her first time going for a walk in the neighborhood. We even got pancake tires. She could just hop in the bottom of there. And she fits nicely, you guys. So, you know, I got her doggy bag in case she uses the bathroom. Got her leash ready to go. Yeah, she has a bottle of water in case she gets tired. So we're going to do this. <sighs> I don't know how long it's going to take me for this walk. But, girl, we are going to do it. I haven't been out here walking in a minute. I should have got my neck band. But, like, what the hell is that really going to do for me, right? Look, I try to be prepared. Me and Pancake is going to share that bottle of water. Okay, best believe. And Pancake better do right by me. When I say she better do right by me, you guys, she best to um, 
Pancake better, um, she better stay on the right side and not keep going back and forth. Because if she wraps this damn leash around me and I end up falling, I'm not going to like that shit. Because I've already had that issue. And it was with her and my other dogs. Wrap me nicely up in that leash. And yes, okay. I didn't fall, but I damn near did. So we're going to go for this walk. And Pancake is kind of like, she a house dog. So she don't really get out that much. We used to go for walks. But like I told you, like, I don't really like taking her because she don't know how to act. She want to smell every effing thing. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> my daughter Nate is like, oh, wow, because she's texting me. And um, I sent her the picture of us going for a walk. So, yeah. It's a nice little walk. And for her, you know, I don't want her to be too tired. So, I'm going to get her out here and get her some exercise. And then, you know, pop her in the bottom of the stroller when she gets tired. You know, I cares about her. That's my baby. Right, Penny? Okay, so at least this walk was thought out, right? Because the last walk that I had when I dropped my car off to get the AC um charged, it wasn't really a good thought out plan. Like, you know, it just wasn't, okay? It just wasn't. I mean, it was thought out. I think I did good, okay? But this one for today is definitely thought out because Pancake got somewhere to sit because she got tired, okay? So she is chilling in her little spot. Look at that. Can y'all see her? She's like literally chilling. She got enough space down there. Another little dog of her size could fit down there. That's, that's a big basket, honey. If I could... Trust me, if I can get in the outdoor. This backyard over here looks so nice, you guys. Oh my God, this backyard. I think I've said that to you guys before. It's such a nice backyard, it really is. <sighs> But this walk was everything. Um, really good walk. I really prefer to be outside walking versus the treadmill. When you go outside, you can clear your thoughts and think a lot better. <sighs> you get to see a different scenery. Like, I get tired of looking at the people at the gym. No disrespect to them, but I just get tired of looking at them. Like, I don't really want to watch other people work out. I don't really want to watch this, the stuff on my phone. I just want to be outside. I used to love to do the walks early in the morning. That was best for me. I really, you know, like forced myself to be in the gym and I really don't like to be in the gym. So since it's starting to cool down now, I'm really, really happy because then I could just come outside and walk like I normally do instead of dying to sweat. <laughs> How was that for you? Did you have a good time? Your little red cheeks. Ooh. Yes, girl. So we was out for a walk, right? Yeah. We went for a walk, Rosie Tikas. Yeah. Ooh, woo okay, now I see why I stopped walking outside. Do y'all see how red my face is? Oh my God, I look like an effing Karen, okay? God damn. I need to get in the shower. I, this wasn't thought out at all. This was not a well thought out plan at all because I'm hot and sticky now. I'm about to get in the shower. Heck with this. Yeah, I'm about to get in there. I'm about to wash my hair real quick. I'm I'm just gonna just get in the shower real quick. Okay. Yes. Right. This wasn't thought out. <laughs> Thank you.
What's up, guys? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? Okay, your girl is back at it. Okay, I'm back at it. Meaning, uh, god damn, why are you driving through here like that? People make me sick, okay? Like, straight up, people make me sick. It is 25 miles per hour to drive in here in Garden Lakes where I live. Why are you driving through here like doing 40? And it's school time. Kids are going to school. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with me? Why do I sound like an old lady? Anyway, let me go and work out. Let me stop playing like I really like going to the gym because y'all already know I don't like going there. And I try to pump myself the F up and give myself good vibes because, honey, don't nobody want to go nowhere. It's not a good idea for you to go to a place and have like a bad ne negative attitude that's like going to work like don't nobody really want to get up and go to work i'm mean, not that i know of. i don't know maybe some of y'all like to get your ass up in the morning early and go to work i don't know but it's not a good idea to go to work with a bad attitude like a negative nancy attitude it's really not because it just makes the day longer and worse so i'm really trying it to have like a positive outlook on this whole workout experience even though i haven't been here in two weeks That'll make you, like, not want to go, right? Like, if you haven't been somewhere in two weeks, you'll be like, ah, oh, fuck it. I don't want to go no more. Fuck it. What's the sense? Ah, fuck it. I'll go tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes, you'll be like, ah, F it. I'm just going to go the day after. But then it's like, bitch, when you ever going to go? You going to use your um, you gonna use your membership? Shit. You, your membership going to run out. You just paying for nothing. So, I'm going to go. I would think you would stop trying to ride the back of my car if I keep doing that. People be bugs out out here. Like, seriously. There is no reason to dry hop the back of my car. Like, seriously. You violate it. I feel violated. You dry hop in the back of my car. Where are you going? Why are you in a rush? You're not going to push me out the way. So now, yeah, now you want to go around me because you get mad on your minivan ass. Driving a minivan. How are you going to drive a minivan and try to dry hump somebody? Now, I should be petty. What I should do is be petty and just drive down there and dry hump the fucking back of her goddamn minivan and see how she like that shit. Because I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, don't drive behind me like that. I hate when people drive so close to you. Like, there's no reason for that. Because if I have to brake suddenly, you're going to hit the back of my car. And I'm going to get pissed the fuck off that you done hit the back of my car. But, and I'm going to get mad. I'm, I'm going to get out the car. And at that point, I'm probably going to get out wanting to fight. Because that'd be me at, sometimes. I'd be, I'd just be on it like that. And I don't want to be like that. But when I see you doing shit purposely, it pisses me the fuck off. I worked hard for this car that I got. Okay, straight paid cash for this. I ain't got no payments. Okay, and this ain't no old ass car. So, you know what I'm saying? I take care of my stuff. And <laughs> don't be riding me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You in a minivan, don't do that. Don't ride the back of my car like that, all right? I don't like people following me in the store, walking behind me so close, and I damn sure don't like you driving so close behind my car. I take everything seriously. I'm going to start being petty to people. I'm going I'm to have a day of the week where I'm going to just be petty to people. And I know that's that's not nice to say, right, April? I know it's not nice to say. But I just figure like this, why not? You do some dumb shit to me, I'm going to end up being petty to you. And like, so, I mean, I'm not doing it just to be mean, because I'm definitely not doing it to be mean. But I just figure one day out of the week is not bad to be petty. It don't even got to be the whole fucking day. It could just be like a half of a day, okay? A half of a day to be petty. So, because I'm getting so tired of people trying to walk all over me and feel like, oh, well, she don't mind. Like, I'm so tired of that shit. Like, people don't do that to me. Because I'm I am, I'm trying to be a born-again, better person. Not, okay? That's, that's me. A born-again, better person. Not a born-again creature. Christian, but I'm trying to be a born again, better person. All right. A born again, better person. And I swear people are taking it the wrong way. They feel like, oh, well, she's a chump. Oh, well, she ain't going to do nothing. Oh, she don't mind. Like you shouldn't do that to me because I'm trying to be a born again, better person. Okay. Straight up. And you shouldn't do that to me. Not out of, not me out of all people. So I figure like, you know, I'm going to just come out of my shell a half of a day once a week. Okay. And it ain't even for a whole 12 hours. Cause you know, I'm going to be asleep, or maybe not. Maybe it is going to be for 12 hours. But I'm going to get, I don't know what day of the week it's going to be yet, but I'll let y'all know because I'm going to have a half of a petty day. And I swear to you, if somebody say some dumb S to me or anything out of the norm, I'm going to be petty. And if you follow me in traffic and you ride too close to my car, trust me when I tell you, I'm going to get behind you and I'm going to do the same thing to you. So, no, what 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 what's a good day for Petty Wednesday? Because the boys have half a day in school, so that'll be the perfect day. Petty Wednesday. Guess what? It's Wednesday. Okay. So with that being said, hmm.
I guess today. Is Last the week I went to Kroger's and I was just there, right? And you know the Italian link sausages? Okay, so they have their own brand and you get five of them. And and the pack is six dollars now. Five sausage links for six effing dollars, right? Hmm. So normally I'll get that or I'll get the 10 link ones, which is $10, but I haven't seen those in a minute. So let me tell y'all, there was four packs left for $1.99 or those, those sausage links, five for $5.99. They were reduced to $1.99. So yeah, I bought all four packs of them. That was 20 links for $8. Okay. So, and I bought some other stuff. Mumsy was there. I bought some other stuff too that I found that was reduced prices. There was four of them left. Mumsy was like, no, leave some for the poverty. I was like, poverty? I was like, you mean poverty? I said, and shit, I'm poverty then. She was like, no, we're not. I said, yes, I'm poor too. I said, if we don't buy these sausages for $1.99 each, we might could just be poverty. Like, this is how I save money. Let me tell you. So I bought all the sausages that they had left for $1.99. Like, ain't nobody going to leave none for the next person. Like, let's be for real. I don't know where Mumsy World is at. But anyway, so I bought them. And then I bought something else, some other stuff. Got in my car to leave, brought my grandson home, looked on my dashboard in my car, and it was like batteries about to eject. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is my car doing this dumb shit? So I was scared to turn the car off, drop my grandson off, and all of that stuff. Go get my granddaughter, call the car place, McFalls, which is right down the street from my house, drop the car off. It was like, yeah, bring it over. Bring, drop it off. Because it was 4.30, they was about to close at 5 o'clock. So, of course, I would have to leave the car there overnight. I could have sworn, like, I took everything out of the trunk. Tati came and got me in her car. I tell you guys, I kid you not. By the time I got home, it was 4.59. And I put the groceries, the things away. And I'm like, where's my fucking sausage at? And my ice cream. Okay, so now it's 4.59. They wasn't even answering the phone at the place. All right. My sausages and my ice cream was in the car overnight. And the next day when they was like, they went in my trunk. But I told him, he was like, you do not want these sausages. Because it was pretty hot in that car. And you do not want these sausages. He was like, you did pay a good price for them. Dollar ninety nine is a really good price. He's like, but they are not worth eating. And I was like, damn. Mom's you talking about leaving it for the poverty. I should have because that was my my freaking money wasted. Um, but they be having like some good prices, so I'm gonna see what they have. You know, see what they got for today. And it be on anything. It don't just be on meat. It'll be like on vegetables, like you know, in the fresh vegetable aisle, like stuff like that. So I mean, listen, if you're on a budget. And you want to get prices like that for meats or whatever, you got to go early in the morning. That's when it's best to go early in the morning because that's when they put them out. And if you go in the afternoon, baby, you're going to miss out on the good deals. So it's still early. I'm going to see what I can find and get me some cooking oil. And then I'm going to head on home. These two, and these are really good burgers. I made one last night. They're Angus. And this, this is what I got the other day. There was only one pack, but I'll take the one plus 30 cents more. Some days I get really, really lucky. Um, some days I get really lucky. This is not the fries that I normally go to, the programs that I normally go to. It's the one next to my house. Um, they always seem to have a lot more over there, so. I'll probably make a stop over there real quick. That's how I'll be doing it. This raggedy ass cart, okay, it's driving me crazy.
right in the front parking space. big one this is much bigger than the other store because at the other fries this this one was two dollars i got a bigger size one for three dollars so that's a deal we get two of those too bad there's no more sausages look i found another one so now i have two these are still 10 for 10. These are good. These are the hot ones. Sweet. These are not bad. Ground beef. Normal price is... Wait, I know this is not six. Oh, because this is... This is seven dollars? Oh, because this is some type of certain natural ground beef. So, seven dollars. God damn, what type of meat is that? Choice tenderloin, filet mignon. There's some things that I just have never eaten in my life. I don't know what these are, but turkey wing portions, five dollars. Not bad. That'll be good. But I, I don't do this all the time. But this is what I do when I first come to the grocery store, is I look for all the items that have like the red tags, you know, the reduced. Um, you can get a really good deal. So $3 for that ground beef, that ground turkey is not bad at all. And that's what I like anyway, ground turkey. I don't really do the ground beef too much because it's just a lot more greasier. Ground turkey is better for you anyway. So I prefer the ground turkey. So, we just have like one more spot to hit, and this is the clearance. This is not bad. Let's see. This is $7.50. It was reduced to $3.79 because the box is a little bit beat up. Okay, but it's still good to August 2023. Mumsy loves Rice Krispie treats, and that's perfect. Um, if you want some beer, you can get you some Michelob Ultra Light for 80 cents. Not bad. Ultra Light. Bud Light for a dollar. Okay. Um, what else they got? Grandkids love these freeze dried mangoes. I have some of those already. So, one more check. So I've decided. I've decided what I'm gonna make for dinner. We gonna have some spaghetti today, okay? Spaghetti and